One morning I arrived at work after having just completed climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. There was a newspaper on my desk and on the front page was the story of a man who had just finished climbing Mount Everest. In fact, he'd finished climbing all seven of the seven summits. And I loved and I hated him. I had climbed one mountain, he had climbed seven. He had done all that I was hoping to do. But as I read this article, I discovered that the article was not written by this man. It was written by his father. You see, this man, as he was coming down the mountain, went blind. He was left on the mountain and he died. Because what he was hoping to do is come down from the mountain and become a motivational speaker, telling everyone in the world what significance they could have because he had it in his life. When I read that, I thought, that is me. I'm trying to climb mountains to show others that they've got significance. And yet, I am blind and paralyzed on the mountain of goals that I've set for myself. Then I remembered Jesus. You see, Jesus did climb a mountain and his mountain did lead to life. The most significant question is not, what do you want to achieve with your life? But, do you recognize what Jesus has achieved with his? I would say my favorite part of GWC at the moment is definitely learning Greek. It's definitely the hardest, but it's the best by far, personally. Um, I think that's because here I'm actually reading a historical text that I doubted at one point, and now you see it written, um, uh, and written in the language that it was originally written in by guys who are, who are trying to teach us about Jesus. And seeing the color that comes from this new language, you know, reading the Bible in English is wonderful, and it's a, it's a wonderful privilege to have that. Seeing it in Greek just adds another dimension to, to see what these guys were saying and why Jesus was so significant. My favorite part about college, I think, would be living in res uh, with the guys at college. Uh, the social side is really cool. Um, I think getting to know the guys as Christian brothers is a wonderful thing. It's, I think most people who trust in Jesus come from a background where you don't have guys your own age who are uh, living a life or facing the same things that you're facing. 